Dear Journal, I saw the tweet the other day. Someone asked, is it okay for one person to solve a puzzle and another to find it and sign it for both of them? I posted a screenshot of that tweet on the geocaching subreddit and asked, is there any time signing for someone that isn't there okay? My intent was to harvest the answers for a cheap YouTube video, but in one of the responses, someone said, well, maybe for a situation with the elderly or the disabled, or maybe they just don't have the time. So I said, just don't have the time? Well, that's what separates the casuals from the geocachers. You are all out of your minds if you think not having the time is a satisfactory reason to claim the fine without getting your name on the log. And boy, howdy, did people get upset. Are you gatekeeping geocaching? No. No, I'm not gatekeeping. Gatekeeping is preventing you from playing. Gatekeeping is me becoming a reviewer and declining your hides because I don't like them for one reason or another. That's gatekeeping. Me withholding information from new people so they can't enjoy the game properly. That's gatekeeping. Accusing you of being casual is not gatekeeping, it's just you being casual. Now let me throw this side note in here. I had to withdraw myself from my own thread on Reddit there at that time, and now I'm pretty sure I'm not going to use any screenshots or links or anything because I don't want there to be any chance of losing my geocaching account for something like brigading or threats or doxing. Nah, not even in the slightest. If you were bored and determined and you looked at my Reddit profile where my posts are listed, hey, that's on you. If I lost my YouTube account, I'd feel bad. If I lost my Reddit account, I'd feel bad. But if I lost my geocaching account, I think I'd be legitimately depressed. So, even though I was like Jet Li at the end of the one, standing on top of the ziggurat, responding to those people like, I am Skimbush, and you are all casuals! And they were, for when I questioned them directly, asking them, so you think it's okay to log a cache without signing it just because you didn't have the time? You think that's okay? I understand someone elderly might not make it up the last six feet of a grueling two mile uphill hike and you sign for them, or that terrain one cache is actually behind the six feet of non-wheelchair accessible briar, but you're telling me that I don't have enough time is also valid in your book? Is it? Yeah, no one really responded to that specific inquiry. I also saw the familiar phrase, well, it's not hurting you. We all play the way we want to play. Well, yes, yes and no. I feel like there is a 1 to 10 scale for geocaching rules, where 1 is the intense rule sticklers and the diehards, it's not a game, it's not fun, it's a hobby. And then over at number 10, you have the happy-go-lucky banjo biddies that are free love and don't sign the log, do whatever you want crowd. And normally, the scale is somewhere in the middle there at 5, but that Reddit thread I made, it seemed like there were quite a few 9s and 10s. It's not hurting how you play, Skimbosh, what's the problem? So I asked, why does it have to hurt me to be an issue? Do I have to be in physical pain from your lack of following fundamental rules in order for you to understand that I am not gatekeeping? I'm holding you in disdain. How about that? I'm offended that you think we're playing the same game, you casual, which is code word for cheating. If I'm hanging out with a bunch of people that finished a difficult video game, talking shop and sharing in our camaraderie the trials and tribulations we went through to beat the boss on that one level, and you pop in all like, oh yeah, dude, that boss was tough, and we ask you what tactic you used, because, you know, we're all interested in it, and you said, well, I just used an infinite ammo code, <laughs> well then later for you. Sure, you didn't hurt me, but don't pretend we played the same game. We no longer have a common point of interest, and most people that played the way it was intended are going to roll their eyes at your casual gameplay. If you feel the need to mark a cache as signed and found when in reality you didn't and your reasoning is that you don't have the time, then that's not a hobby you're participating in, you're just saying you are, and it's just attempting to fit in. Now, of course, as I said earlier, and as most of us know, there are legitimate times when you can claim the fine when you haven't signed the physical log, and even sometimes when you don't find the physical container, but hey, in the end, that's all up to the CO to give a functional shit about. I'm ranting specifically at the 30 to 40 people that agreed with a person that said not having time is a sufficient reason to not actually find the cash or solve the puzzle or do the tree climb, Just, but still claim the fine? You're the people that I wanted to tell. Fuck off but I didn't want to endanger my various accounts. So, not that I think those specific people will ever see this, but if you do, well, all right, you know, you're right about the not hurting me part, so I'm not gonna tell you to fuck off. Anyway, that's it, that's my line in the sand. Sorry if you thought this was going to be some, some comical Jeff Foxworthy, if you're not carrying 17 backup pens and pencils, you might be a casual geocacher type video. Just, just getting something off my chest. <sighs> Hope my fellow Americans have a nice holiday weekend. Find some caches, be safe. If you're outside of the States, enjoy your normal weekend. Find some caches and be safe. And what the hell, even you crazy quote-unquote geocaches out there with not enough time, you get out there and play the game incorrectly and be safe, you silly bastards.